Hey, so you started streaming, but you have no idea how to create any panels or anything for your Twitch channel. Well, I can show you how you can do that for free without downloading any programs. Hi, my name is Jempanada. I am a full-time community manager and customer service manager for a gaming publisher. And I also uh, do part-time content creation. So I do a lot of Twitch streaming, YouTube videos, and blogging. Just wanted to show you um, a quick little tutorial uh, that can help you if you're a new Twitch streamer. And I want to show you guys how you can create your own images for your Twitch channel without having to hire a graphic designer or learn super intensive like graphic design. You can easily do this by um, going to this website called canva.com. It's really great. It's used for a lot of um, social media marketers, people who don't have really great uh, graphic design skills like I do. And here's how you can do it when you are just want to have something really quick and easy to do. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. Okay. So you go to canva.com right here. And what you're going to do is that you're going to log in or create uh, a login here. So I already made one. Okay. And then you're going to come here with your, uh, this is pre pretty much your dashboard. So you're going to see a bunch of different examples where you can get started. It even shows you all the different dimensions where you can do here. Um, and you can see some of the designs I've already created in uh, for some of my websites and other stuff before. And there are so many different options that you can do that. What typically we're going to focus is on uh, creating Twitch panels for your Twitch channel. So um, I looked it up and it says that you can go as wide as 320 pixels but you can go as high as you want um because i've seen a lot of people use really huge um images sometimes they just keep it simple like they keep a, like a small tiny ba banner so what i'm going to do is going to create here uh it says create a design select custom dimensions and i'm going to enter the width which is going to be 320 and then what i have used in the past is actually 150 so we're going to create a new design and then when you create that design it's going to give you this canvas and it's actually going to give you a couple of like examples and different references that you can use uh, since it's now like around Christmas time. It's going to show me a bunch of uh, different uh, holiday recommendations for this. But what we can do, uh, we're going to go ahead and select already prefaced um, images that we can use. So let's, for example, let's type in gaming background. That is nothing. Great. Okay. So let's see video game. Uh, let's see. Let's do tech. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to find any of this. Um, let's just type something simple. Let's do like a blue background. Okay, cool. We have tons of different options. See what fits you. All right. This is something that like most streamers will probably pick yeah all right cool so we got this background uh here and if you uh and there are some options when you do search for it uh there are going to be some where it says free but then there are going to be ones that are going to be say pro um usually we'll have we will tell you if it's a pro um item there will be a crown but looks like there's a lot of good options for you guys to decide what you want to use as for your background all right cool so Next thing you want to do um, is go to your text and then you can select uh, all the different options that you have here. So I have a de default. Um, I have a particular um, font that I like to use called Baloo and we can actually make this way smaller. Why is it so huge? Uh, let's try this. Okay. Cool. Uh, and this could be anything that you want it to make. So it can be your about me. Oops. So it can be anything that you want. It can be your about me, your contact, social tips, uh, subscribe, games, uh, your specs. 
it could be anything you do you want to put into your twitch channel so we're gonna put some basic um ones that you should have on your twitch channel so let's see about me and here's a really fun thing that you can do um since there's a lot of new features since i've been using it i've been using this for um, a couple of years now um they've added new things called effects and you can put a drop shadow um make it i can make it a little bit darker maybe we can make this a little bit bigger actually so I feel like this font may not be suitable for some people. So, and when you click when you click on fonts, you can actually like pick and decide which one like looks best. Actually, this one looks pretty good. I feel like this will be a good default. Um, okay, so here's where you can make it, and here's the fun part, and it's really easy, 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 easy to do. Um, just hit this duplicate page, boom. You got another one and now you just got to change the text and then let's see let's do contact and then we can do another one social we do tips boom subscribe games I'll put in like thank you because I like to give credit to a lot of like um, people that I commission either can be like people who design my overlays or um, music commissions or anything else. Um, I just like to give them a shout out and that's where we can uh, I like to give them at least like show that hey I respect all your artwork and I you did all the hard work for me so thank you so much. So yeah that's super easy to do right. Um, you can even like back up a bit let's go 100 so you can see like now you have a set of twitch panels that you can use to upload for your twitch channel um super easy and here's the best part and it's going to download all in one zip file so um you can even download it individually if you prefer to do that but if you just want to make it easier for yourself you can just do all pages and then just hit download Boom. All right. I have a lot of stuff that I need to fix. But anyways, so now I can just extract it. And look, you can get all the panels that you need. You can even like rename them if you need to. And these come out as a PNG. So they're super easy to upload to your Twitch channel. Let's see. And then let's go to Twitch. You go to your channel. You go to your edit panels. Uh, there you go. And then add image. Downloads about me. And then you can even resize it, but you don't need to because you already got it done. Submit. Submit! I'll add another one just for you guys to see. And then submit. Close the panels and then look. Boom, there it is. We got your panels ready to go, ready to use and it's super simple and easy to do. Um, other things that you can actually use for Canva is, um, you can even create your Twitch banner. You can use a Twitch, uh, offline image. Um, the Twitch banner, I've learned that actually it's really weird because this is the only thing that they have on Canva that's like preset is this. Uh, but that is inaccurate now because the, the dimensions are not the same anymore. Uh, Twitch banner now is 1200 by, uh, 480. So you just got to do the same thing. Just create new design, type in 1200, 480. And then boom, you got 
this blank canvas. We can even use the same background. Sometimes it will usually will show up um, here and then there. We can have the same exact background that I use in my Twitch panel, and that can be uh, the new design. Uh, what was the one that I used? I already forgot what it was. Anton. Twitch stream. Don't actually write this, <laughs> but uh, it's just something that you guys can like remember. You can change the shadow. And look, boom, it looks so nice. It's so awesome. And it's so easy to do it and even helps you like figure out where it's centered correctly. This is like one of the best things to have, especially when you are broke as hell, but you want to have some creative freedom, but you're not a great as at graphic design using paint or GIMP or any of that. Like I've tried those things and I hated it so much. Like I just could not do it for the life of me. But um, using Canva has been a lifesaver. Um, it's very easy to do and thought that something that you guys can uh, work on uh, on yourself and you can want to have some creativity. And also you can even just like upload a bunch of your own photos so if there's a background that you don't like of any of the options here you can just simply just upload it here and then you can do it here another cool thing that i will uh do here actually um so here's an example that i have was you i actually used this as one of my um let me delete this so if you just click on this image so this can and it really works well if you have a nice background but this ha this technology has been so good i've been using this to make my thumbnails and also just my uh, my avatar so if you click on this thing click on effects again there's a thing called background remover and you don't have to have such a steady hand because it will do it for you so like look 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 what happens boom it already traced it. It already got, has it perfectly lined up where my body is, including my hair. Um, it's just so great. And so this is what I use usually uh, when I make all my thumbnails. And if it does, if they did miss a few things, you can always use the erase tool. So like, here you go. If you made a mistake, you can use the restore. Oh, look at that. And you can change the the size of the tool just in case but yeah it's so good canva is so good um and you can also use this for avatars you can use it for anything else that you want to design if anything else um it's super 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 easy but yeah um i also hope that you guys uh find this very helpful and useful Please share this uh, with any of your friends uh, who think that, you know, have trouble trying to create any of their own unique things, <laughs> you know, per se. So I hope this was helpful and I hope you guys uh, give it a like and subscribe. You got to see a little bit more tips from me uh, for helping Twitch streamers, whether it be marketing or anything else that I have used for, um, you know, just to grow my own channel. So I hope you guys, I check you guys later. All right. Bye.